Yes, Gawa. <laughs> This video will show how to set the IP address of your computer. Connection of the PC to the MPIEC controller over Ethernet requires both physical Ethernet connections and compatible IP address in the PC and controller. Connection can be tested by opening the controller's web page. Just type the IP address of the controller into the address field of Internet Explorer to access the controller's built-in web page. Let's assume that you do know the controller IP address and that it is at the default of 192.168.1.1. The PC must have a compatible address. This means that the first three bytes of the IP address must match, but the last byte is different. In this case, the PC has to have an IP address of 192.168.1 ending in a number anywhere from 2 to 255. So what's the IP address of the PC and how do you change it? In Windows 7, go to Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, and on the left choose Change Adapter Settings. Find the connection you're using, such as Local Area Connection, and right click to choose Properties. Find Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4, then Properties. Change to Use the following IP address. The PC must have a different address than the controller. If the MPIC controller is 192.168.1.1 by default, then the PC can be, for example, 192.168.1.50. The subnet mask will autofill with 255.255.255.0. Click on OK for the setting to take effect. Windows XP follows a very similar process. In Internet Explorer, now, we type in the controller's IP address, 192.168.1.1, and hit Enter. Success! We're now looking at the controller's built-in web page. Making the IP address change is likely to disable any wired internet access, and you may want to restore your settings later. If you find you're changing these settings frequently, it may be helpful to use the run command ncpa.cpl, which stands for Network Connection Properties Applet Control Panel. An inexpensive USB to Ethernet adapter may also be useful so that you can leave your computer's built in network settings alone. Thanks for watching this video, and remember yaskawa.com/iec for application notes, videos, firmware updates, and more.